Hey guys, Susie here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I'm doing a Ask Susie video and I also like to call these my tea chat videos because I always have a cup of tea. It seems like every time I do any advice related videos or videos where I'm like chatting with you guys, I always have my cup of tea and so it wouldn't be true Susie style if I did not have my cup of tea. So I actually just brewed me a little cup of tea and today's mug is this little mug and for today's tea I am drinking this Bap Chaya Goda and this is the chamomile and honey with lemon peel tea. So that is the tea that I am drinking today. Normally I'm drinking my Susie tea which is my black tea with lemon and sugar that I love to drink every day but it is now I think going on like 8 or 9 o'clock at night and I'm trying to stay away from caffeine at night because I don't know like I just cannot sleep properly when I drink caffeine at night so that's why I made something a little bit more relaxing something that would kind of chill me out a little bit you know so I actually wanted to make this video because I was requested to make this video in a comment from one of my viewers and my viewer which is Mackenzie Koo wrote um, that she loved my videos and then she had commented um, because she would love for me to make an advice video of how to break up with friends and knowing when you should break up with your friends. And so I thought, well, that's a really great topic. Um, those of you who have been following my channel know that I made a video about a year ago uh, that was called Growing Apart From Your Friends or something to that effect. And I still firmly believe everything that I said in that video. Basically, it was just talking about kind of a story about me, a really good friend of mine who I grew, like pretty much grew up with, and how we don't really talk anymore, don't really hang out anymore. She's, I mean, we're still like cool, but we're not really like close like we used to be. Um, we definitely don't really hang out anymore, don't really talk much anymore. And in a way, even now, like even so many years has passed, I do still feel a little bit sad about it. But for the most part, um, I don't know, life kind of goes on. You kind of learn um, to adapt to things. You kind of just move on with your life. And I'm kind of still in the same place that I was before when I made that video. I still feel the same about it. Um, part of me kind of feels like maybe I would maybe like attempt to try to like hang out with her again. Maybe like if we hung out again that maybe somehow we would have fun or I don't know like maybe that friendship could be rekindled but Another part of me kind of knows that the reality is that things have just really changed um, for both of us and I still feel like I don't think it would be the same. Um, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about how you break up with your friends and when you know you should break up with your friends. And this is just personally, like, my opinion. Um, this is just my opinion, my past experience, you know, things. Um, this is not, like, I'm not, like, trying to tell anybody, like, what is the right thing to do because everybody makes their own decisions. Um, you know, like, for me, what equals, like, me needing to break up with a friend is one thing. And for somebody else, it may be something totally different. Um... Because everybody has different feelings, everybody, you know, is just different, uh, has different personalities. Some people are content with, like, getting along with certain things, you know, things don't bother them. Um, you know, they can go for long periods of time being ignored or, um, you know, not being treated well, and, like, they're okay with that. I don't know why, but they just are, and so, you know, everybody is different. Um, but, you know, I did want to kind of talk a little bit about the topic. So, let's kind of dive right in. Uh, first of all, um, knowing when you should break up with a friend. Now, um, breaking up with a friend, 
I consider that like just not hanging out with that person anymore, um, not talking to them anymore, basically just kind of moving on with your life. Um, I don't like to call it breaking up with my friends because I don't really like to compare friendships to relationships. I just feel like I just don't want to do that. Um, for me, it's just like we're not hanging out anymore. We're not friends anymore. We're just not friends anymore. I don't like to tell like my friend like I'm breaking up with you. We're not going to be friends anymore. You know, like I just that's not my style. So for me, um, when you know you should kind of stop being friends with someone. Um, one big thing, of course, is when you just start doing things that you regret doing afterwards, um, that maybe they are like a bad influence on you. Uh, because believe it or not, that can happen. Um, there are people out there that are not good people, that are people who take advantage of people, who, you know, lie, steal, um, people that are on drugs, people that do drugs, people that feel that they need to pressure other people to do things. So if you're friends with someone who is doing something that you're not comfortable around, that you just don't agree with, um, and I'm not talking about like because they like to do different stuff than you, you shouldn't be their friend. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm saying like if they are doing like serious drugs and they're trying to pressure you or you feel like you're constantly like babysitting them, that may be like a moment when you're like, okay, I think maybe I need to step away from this person. Um, or like if they're, you know, stealing things and you don't want to risk getting caught with them, that may be a good friendship to kind of cut the cord on. Um, you know, people who make bad lifestyle choices and you don't want to have to go along with them, you don't want to do those same things, it's a good idea to just, you know, cut it out um, because they might get caught, they might get arrested, something may happen when you're together and you don't want to be held liable for their actions. You don't want to get in trouble because of something that they did. Um, another reason why you may want to end a friendship is because you just plain don't have anything in common anymore and that is kind of what happened for me. Um, you know, you find yourself hanging around this person, but you just don't really seem to have like a lot in common anymore. And there are people who are really good friends, great friends, who don't have things in common, who are like, you know, different. And they manage to be friends because that's like a thing that holds them together. Like sometimes opposites really do attract, whether it's relationships or friendships. Sometimes it's good to have somebody that likes different things. But if you're constantly like butting heads, you're constantly disagreeing with each other, you just don't really have anything to talk about, anything to conversate about, I would say that would be a moment where I would like, you know, just cut them out of my life. Um, also, for me, a big thing was I'm very intuitive and when I, I always go with my gut feeling and when I'm hanging out with somebody who is a friend, if I don't feel comfortable, if I don't feel like I can be myself around this person anymore or I feel like they're judging me, then I definitely am like, I don't want to hang out with this person anymore. And sometimes a friendship may start out, you know, you both have things in common, you know, you get along awesome, you can talk to each other about anything, and then all of a sudden things can change as you get older and you just don't have that same connection anymore. For me, that's enough to cut a friendship. Um, just because I, you know, I don't feel like I can be myself around them. I don't feel like we have anything in common. I feel awkward. I feel like we don't have anything to make conversation about. Yeah, so cutting the line there. Um, basically, you know, like I said in my other video, sometimes as you grow up, you just grow out of people. They're not the same person they were when you first met them and that happens in relationships too all the time. Um, people grow up out of things. You know, they're like one person is a little bit more mature, the other person just kind of stays in their little immature habits. They may be partying all the time, doing drugs, um, doing questionable things, whatever. 
and the other person's like trying to do their, you know, get their education, trying to work, trying to do their thing, trying to get moved up in this world, and that one person is like holding them down. Yeah, time to cut that cord. So that's basically kind of how I know that I need to like get up out of a relationship or a friendship is because of those things. Um, now how you should break up with a friend or how you should stop being friends with someone and I'm not gonna like sugarcoat this because I'm not a sugarcoating type of person like I'm gonna tell you like it is you know like if um, yeah I'm not gonna tell you guys to do something and then I would do something different because it's not me I, I just don't do that so basically and maybe this is like not the best advice to give you guys but like Seriously, what do I do when I don't want to be friends with somebody anymore? I kind of do like the disappearing act. That's what I like to call it. Um, basically, I just do just that. I just kind of disappear out of their life. Um, so, you know, if they call, um, I probably won't answer the phone. If they rate me on social media, I may write back and be like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, maybe sometime we'll hang out or something, you know, and then I'll just kind of never talk to them again. Um, you know, if if I see them out somewhere, I'm not going to be like a biatch and not, you know, act like I don't know them. I'll still be like, hey, yeah, well, it's nice to meet you too, you know. I'm good about putting on that little happy face. Um, but honestly, I just kind of get out. I just don't, I don't really do anything. I, I know that's may not be the best advice to give you guys, but I feel like I don't like making up excuses and I don't like, even if I told that person why I didn't want to be their friend anymore, even if I told them like, hey, you know, we just don't think, have anything in common anymore. Um, I don't feel comfortable around you. Maybe that is the right thing to do. Honestly, if, if it was me, I would want to be told like why somebody doesn't want to be friends with me anymore so I think as a good nice person <laughs> I would recommend telling this person like hey you know uh, we've known each other for a long time but I think things have changed you know or you're doing things I'm just not into or you know I still care about you as a person but I honestly just don't think I want to be around this anymore and for that reason, I think it's better if we just kind of stop hanging out for a while. Um, maybe one day, you know, if times change and things get better and you somehow find that you can rekindle your friendship, maybe you can, you know, you can get back to hanging out and maybe things will be just fine. But if you just never feel like it just never can really get better, then I just wouldn't even, you know, say that. Um, but to be honest with you guys, like giving you my honest to God opinion, like what I really would do, that is what I would do. I would just honestly like go ghost for real. I'm not even joking at you. Like I, I would honestly just stop answering calls, stop talking to him. Just, you know, just let it die out. Just let it die out. And most of the time, most people will know. Like, they'll get the hint. Like, oh, they're not answering their calls anymore. They're ignoring me. They don't want to be my friend anymore. There we go. And I didn't really have to say anything. I didn't have to be hurtful. <laughs> I know that's, like, not, not what you guys want to hear. But that's just, like, me being honest. And I'm always honest. And that's honestly, like, what I would do. Um, but... I think the best thing to do is to seriously like tell somebody, you know, like, hey, this is why I don't want to be friends with you anymore. I don't want it to be offensive. I don't mean to like hurt your feelings or to make you feel upset with me. Um, and you're right to be upset with me if you want to be, but just honestly, that's why I just feel like we shouldn't hang out anymore. And then, you know, if they get mad, they get mad, whatever, you were the bigger person, you told them what was up, you communicated and yeah. <laughs> um, but like I said, you guys, honestly, like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm a perfect person and I do everything politely and correctly all the time because I don't. I think honestly, if it's like your really, really good friend and you guys have known each other for a long time or you're just, you were really close, I do kind of feel like, 
I think as a best friend, you're kind of obligated to kind of let them know what's up and communicate with them. Just don't sugarcoat it. Don't don't beat around the bush. Just tell it like it is. Um, that's kind of my motto of how I live my life, and that's just what I do. Um, but honestly, you know, I'm not perfect, and... If I could go back, I think I would be more like communicative with people I used to be friends with. When I decided not to be friends with them anymore, I probably feel like I should, I kind of owed them something, you know, instead of just disappearing on them. But like I said, I'm not perfect. And I don't, I don't think I would recommend, you know, like doing that. I honestly don't. I don't think that's the best way to settle a problem. Um, I really do think that communicating is the best thing, but that's just what I did in my previous friendships. Um, if I had to end a friendship, that's usually what I did. And I had it done to me. And I had a person that I was friends with once and they just kind of went ghost on me. And I just kind of wonder to myself all the time still. I'm like, I wonder why they stop being friends with me. Like, what did I do? So that's why I say, like, I probably feel like you should kind of give them an explanation because otherwise you're just kind of left like, you know, what did I do? Like, I don't get it. So I get it. You know, like, I can see both sides of this situation. If you have any more um, Ask Susie videos you guys would like to see, you want to ask me advice or a question, leave them down in the comments below. And if you want it to remain anonymous, you don't want me to use your name or anything, my email is always listed down below. Feel free to email me and I will not say your name. I'll keep it anonymous. I would love to continue these. Um, as always, I'll always be having my cup of tea and I will let you guys know what I'm sipping on that day. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more beauty style haul related videos and Ask Susie videos here in my channel. And be sure to click the little bell also next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I post a video. Otherwise, they sometimes get lost in the shuffle. So be sure to click that little bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!